Great job, Jake. I tried. There's a little piece of bread and potato there, but as the rule said, you can leave some minimal fat. I don't see any no fat. fat no any fat. steak. You ate the entire steak. You ate the salad. You ate your required beets. Just a little bit. I think eating all the fat outweighs just that little bread and potatoes. You have I children. That's fair enough. Children are in absolute wonder right now, gathered around you, looking at this. Uh, how do you feel right now as the time's expired? You put away 75 ounces of delicious steak along with many of the trimmings. How do you feel right now? Uh, I felt better. Uh, it's time for diet. Not time for diet, but uh, that was that was the most phenomenal steak I've ever had. Now, what was the hardest oh. part? Uh, I mean, oh, was, it, was it the steak itself or the, the, no. the trimmings? No, the steak was the steak was cake. Delicious, the potato. Now, that potato and, and bread. Right. Ooh. Now you use a different technique. You're using some Dr. Pepper for the carbonation and right. some water, right. but also you had a little bit of uh, a little bit of whiskey to help loosen things up. How did that help? Uh, it's, it was oil on your joint. Okay, got gotcha. you. Know? You, gotta, you gotta have a little oil on the joint, like the Tin Man. And uh, we do. Uh, we have found out you have been. He's been declared a winner. He's been declared a winner. Jake, can you stand up so we can uh, show the T-shirt off? Uh, that's all right. Uh, that's all right. Uh, no, no. But our shirts say you can't beat our meat. Yes, we right. can say cows. Well, but he can beat your meat, can he? My wife can wear it proudly. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let it be known that Jake can beat your meat. Absolutely. <laughs> Please don't forget to tip your waiters because thanks for coming out to Jess and Jim. Nice.